Participants in the latter rain revivals of the late 1940s and 1950s recall having seen evil spirits cast out of people as they approached the healers on stage. This phrase, evil spirits, is critical to understanding the nature of the illness that attracted the people to the revivals. While most afflictions in the revivals were given specific terms such as bladder trouble, heart trouble, or one leg shorter than the other, and more, seldom were the named conditions categorized as quote-unquote evil spirits. All types of mental illness in the latter rain movement were typically categorized as quote an evil spirit, and the mental health condition was seldom named. It was very uncommon to hear a healer proclaim healing of a chronic depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or other terms that we hear today. Mental health education was taboo, and many mental health issues that people of today would recognize by name were not commonly named. Instead, terms such as crazy, nuts, or loony were used by the uneducated public. Those terms were insulting, both then and now, but the label given to people suffering with mental health issues by these divine healers was much worse, infested with an evil spirit. Gordon Lindsay, one of the most prolific figures in the healing revivals, moved mental health struggles out of the natural realm and into the spiritual in his literature. When William Branham had a mental health crisis in the late 1940s, Lindsay claimed that it was the result of the, quote, kingdom of hell attacking Branham. The response from the latter rain participants was so overwhelming that Lindsay was forced to publish an explanation in the October 1948 issue of The Voice of Healing. Lindsay refused to call Branham's condition an illness and instead responded that it was the result of exhaustion. He attempted to be more forthcoming in his book 20th Century Barnabas by admitting that Branham did in fact have a nervous breakdown, but instead of classifying Branham's condition as an illness, Lindsay spiritualized the struggle with mental health and claimed that Branham was later healed of his evil spirits. Branham's evil spirit, however, remained until the end of his life. Branham admitted in November of 1965, just one month before his death, that he had been a, quote, neurotic all his life. This was in direct conflict with his 1953 position. Like Lindsay, Branham claimed to have been healed from what Mayo Clinic declared him to be incurable, his mental health disorder. These evil spirits, unnamed mental health disorder, plagued Branham for the duration of the post-World War II healing revival. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.